TDS stands for total dissolved solids, which are the total concentration of dissolved solids in liquid, such as water. Measuring TDS is one important factor for understanding the quality of water, which is why TDS meters are so useful. In this video, we'll cover the basics of TDS meters, how they work, and how to use them specifically for water quality testing. A TDS meter works by passing an electrical current through the water, and the resistance of the current will vary based on the amount of dissolved solids in the water. The meter then converts the resistance into a TDS reading. There are different types of TDS meters available, such as penstyle and inline. TDS meters measure the total concentration of dissolved solids in water, but they do not measure the specific types of concentrations of dissolved solids. They also do not measure other important water quality factors, such as pH, temperature, or microorganisms such as bacteria. It's important to note that TDS meters don't indicate if the water water is healthy or not. In summary, TDS meters are a useful tool for measuring the TDS in water, which can give you an idea of the water's quality. However, it's important to keep in mind that TDS meters don't measure all water quality factors and TDS levels alone don't indicate if the water is healthy or not. If you're interested in measuring the quality of your water, we recommend you getting your water tested by a certified laboratory. If you have any questions about TDS or TDS meters, let us know down in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a like and check out one of our other water quality videos that's coming up right now.